Today is Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. It's 12.34 p.m. And I'm calling the Elmont Police. Yippee. Once we get nowhere again. Good afternoon. I'm Hi, ma'am. Um, I was trying to reach uh, Officer Hager. Okay, may I ask you Yes, um, my name is... Okay, let me see if he's still in the department. He might be on the road. Hold okay. on just a moment. Okay, sir, I just caught him. Okay. Can he transmute his phone? Hold on just okay. a moment. Officer Hager, oh, hi, Leo. It's a... Is this conversation being recorded? Yes. Okay, you do not have my permission to record this conversation. That's for my protection, Leo. Okay. Well, I just want the record to indicate that you do not have my permission. Well, I'm I'm, I'm calling a, a, a public a public uh, officer, and I and, uh, I want to make a public complaint. Okay. Did you get my email um, yesterday? Okay. Yes, I, did. I want to make a complaint. That matter has been previously. It's not been investigated. the The Adult Protective Services supervisor told me to contact you to file a complaint. Right. That matter was previously investigated. Was conducted by the Michigan State Police and the Lapeer County Prosecutor's Office, and there is no actionable information for them to proceed any further. Nancy, are you editing this conversation? Because I'm going to record. Uh, that's fine. That's, well, that's fine. Freedom. That's you fine. I'm being put. I'm being put what to death. Do? And uh, are you telling me that Elaine Stoutenberg lying to? Uh, the, uh, the DHHS crisis hotline and telling them that I, I am in no danger. Don't you remember me telling you back in September that I keep calling that number and you kept telling me the same thing. Keep calling that number. Keep calling that number. Do you have a, do you have a new complaint to make, sir? I'm being put to death and I have no way of defending myself. And and the adult protective services agent told me to contact you if I want to file a complaint. Sure. If, are you, are you, okay, are you telling me that you refuse to take the complaint? This okay, are you, are you, are you, by, the by, by who? And it'll appear when, when, when was this? Because I've got, I've got, I've got nothing. Line. No, what I need to do, what I need to do, what I need to do, sir, is I want to file a complaint against you. Okay. I don't know. There's no hope. Today is Tuesday, April 16, 2019. It's 12.40 p.m. I'm calling the Elmont Police. I called Leo Hager and he hung up on me. So I'm trying to have to make a complaint against him. Good afternoon, Elmont Police. Hi, ma'am. Um, I need to uh, file a complaint. Okay. And, and your phone number? I, I don't want to. I, what I need to do is I need to know how to file a complaint against uh, Officer Hager. Okay. Well, you have to have an officer. No, I don't. I don't. Or you just stop into the police department and file a complaint. Okay. Uh, can I take a. a, a, a what, do you have a form that I can pick up? No, you actually sit down with an officer to file a complaint. And can I, can I video it? That would be up to the um, officer at his discretion. Okay, um, do I just, is there somebody there now? Um, yes, sir. Okay, ma'am, uh, do you know, uh, do you know how long somebody's going to be there? Because I don't know when I can make it up there. Um, I don't, it just depends on if they get a call. Wait, I mean, what, what time did they close? Because I called yesterday and you were closed at like 4.30. I'm here from 8 a.m. to 1, uh -huh. Monday through Friday. And then 1 to 4, there's an officer that will be in the department. Okay. After hours, you'll have to contact Central Dispatch. They have an officer come back and meet Okay, so, yeah, because I called at 4.30 and, and you weren't open, so. Uh, right, it transfers to Central correct. Dispatch. Correct, okay. So I could come between 1 and 4 and someone can take the complaint? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, Bye thank now. you. Bye. It's Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. It's 1.55 p.m. And I'm going into the Elmont Police Station. Wish me luck.
I need to file a complaint. Okay, you can't record in here. It's a public building. No, it's not. Police it's department building. building. We're not going to film in our police department. Where do I make the report? Right, you can make it with us, but and you can make it in, in here, but you're not recording in here. Why? Because this is our. It's a First Amendment audit. Don't I, have the right, don't I have the right to record? Not in here, you know. We don't have. We don't need uh, our building, the layout of our building online. So. If you got, you didn't do anything wrong. What do you, what do you got to hide? Well, you know what you guys say? We don't have anything to hide, Richard. Mm -hmm. Well, why would you want to jeopardize our safety? Why what? what? The layout why, of our building. Why doing what? Online. Are you going to stop recording? Okay, so, so nobody's recording. So Richard, you gotta understand that we have bent over backwards. You what did you do? Just, just, what did you do for me? Right now, we're listening to you. You're listening to me. You're listening to me. You know what? Why'd you take that step step on my neck and then try no, to make me listen, listen to me? What's it? What, what more can you do? For a couple years, we're trying to help you, but you have to understand. Let me ask you this question: Do you agree that there's certain limitations to what we can do? No, it makes no sense. You're watching. You don't agree with that? No, you know what? You're watching. You're watching corrupt government uh, killing people, and you're allowing it to happen because well, you're afraid. There are limitations. When you when you see something, you're supposed to say yeah. something. What what's the difference if you saw an EMS worker putting a pillow over over a a, a, a patient's face? And smothering them. And you know what you're saying? It's not my, it's not my no, job. It's not my, no, my school. Yes. What's the difference? What did she do to me? What did she do to me? Yeah. What, you know what? I called for three months. You, you want to hear something else? The DHHS crisis hotline. I, I called the one time, and, the, and and I'm going, please, please help me, please. And the woman, woman, thought thought I hung up, and she goes, Hey, listen, did you guys hear that? <laughs> That's what they do. That's what the DHHS no crisis hotline that. do. Do to. Uh, we have no control over that. You have no control. Then you're not a, a, a law enforcement agency. We're Elmont, we are. No, you're not. What about the Constitution? What about it? Have you? What about my constitutional rights? What rights are you referring to right now? Why don't you take a look at my? Why don't you take a look at my my evidence file, and I'll show you. Okay. Uh, can okay. I tell you something else? Okay. I've had I, I've got another issue with the Department of Civil Rights, who who I filed a case with. And they and, dismissed your case. Huh? They dismissed. They dismissed case. my case. Did you see why? No. No, you didn't do anything. You know why? Because I I gave the the worker, Charles Archie on on. Are you laughing at me? I figure I'm laughing. I don't know. I'm not smiling. I, Richard, why do you feel everybody's against you? Are you kidding me? On 8-7, I gave Charles Archie, a, I, for, I gave him a court of claims case to file for $15,000 against DHHS worker Rhonda Lansing and Tanya McCrory okay. and, and Steve Atkinson. That was on 8-7. Okay. I, I, uh, I talked to him in, in, in September. He said he was working on everything. He was going to follow up and, and do a thorough investigation. When I called him on 12-27 mm -hmm. to ask him what he did about that court of claims, he didn't know anything about it. I started complaining, and he, clo he closed my case after a thorough, thorough investigation on 12-27, the same day that I called him to complain. We have no jurisdiction. you got no jurisdiction over anything. Why, yes, why don't you go do. protect the dairy twirl guy? We do have jurisdiction in the Yeah, in the dairy tour, the tip jar. I'll steal, go right. steal right. money from the tip jar. That way you can, you know what? That way you can arrest me, and at least I can go to jail and have a, a safe environment. Is that what you want me to do? That's the only thing that you're offering me. Where's, where, how am I supposed to get, how, I'm living in an uninhabitable house, I got no way to get out. What am I supposed to do? It's not getting better. How am I, the, what, is my water supposed to magically turn on? How is it supposed to change? How, how, how does anybody help me at all? Nothing. Well, Zero. You remember two months ago, uh, CPS workers came to help with one of our officers? Yeah. Tried to help you out. Yeah, and then I videoed that when they when uh, he ran out and cut, he pulled his weapon as as a bullshit. Weapon. I saw the Yeah. Weapon. What did he go for? He didn't pull his weapon. Yeah. What did he go for? What would he go for? I'm right here. Yeah, I don't I care. Your, I yeah, what did you go for? I went for my teeth or did you? Oh yeah, and I'm 67 and a half year old disabled c senior citizen you're sitting in a chair. Pain and swearing and yelling, and you're being disorderly right now. Look, then call then call taser me. I don't give a fuck. No, no we want to try and help. Yeah, I don't need four cops. You know what? I I went into that DHHS meeting, and there they had four policemen sitting there, and and I couldn't get anything resolved. And 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 it's because of the way you're acting. The people at DHS are scared. They're concerned. Scared of what? Why don't you do your, what? Your no. behavior. My behavior, what? Right. It's called anger. You know what? When I when I when I give you 174 pages of evidence that you refuse to to, uh, to review, I and then tell that. me there's nothing you can do, and that's what I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about every agency I tried to contact. Why don't you contact uh, an attorney? With what? With your 174 pages of evidence. And 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 uh, and uh, how am I supposed to pay them? Legal and, aid. Huh? Free. Legal aid is free. Bullshit. You know what? You want to see? I've tried every legal agency in the state of Michigan, and that's in the, in 174 pages. I tried everything. You understand? I'm at the end of my rope. I'm at the end of my rope. I tried every free agency, every, and, and I can't defend myself because the, the, the uh, Lapeer County is completely corrupt. Let me ask you this. I tried to, I tried to defend myself when they, when my water heater, their water heater failed for the second time in November 2017. <clears throat> I contacted them and I asked for their files under the Freedom of Information Act. Mm -hmm. They refused them. I can't defend myself. I tried. I I, I complained to my senator. Um, and we can't do anything about that. We can't do anything about anything. That's the wait, problem. Wait, wait. Here's what I need you to do. You can't do anything. That's the problem. Well, I need to get in front of a legal judge and a legal court. That's why you I need to. I need to no. your case. Judge what Elkins. judge? Elkins, the one you sent the letter to. Uh, 
That's a, that's a completely separate issue. I f want to file a complaint against Elaine Stoutenberg. The, the complaint? For gross that? negligence. Let me get into it, okay? You're not, a, you're not a lawyer and you're not a judge. Just take okay. the complaint. Okay. Get me in front of a judge. Get me in front of a real judge, not a kangaroo court. Let me tell you. That's why I can't get anything resolved. Okay. Can I talk? Or is this just one-way communication? No, you know what? You're directing the narrative. No, I'm not directing the narrative. Why don't we go through my information? Let's go through all my evidence. Tell me where to go. Tell me how okay. to do this. There, there, you know what? She dismissed this case and then she said that I can refer it to circuit. But I, I don't know how to do that. Judge. We have no control over that. I can't I, do all this stuff. How am I supposed to do it? Do you understand that the Elmont Police Department investigates complaints within Elmont? Where, where am I at? You're in Elmont. Okay. The issue where, 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 did, where, did, where did the damage the, happen? The DHS where did, where did, where did the assault complaint? happen? I'm going to keep talking. If you want to talk over me, that's fine. The okay. DHS workers that you filed a complaint against, the state police took the report. They sent the report to the prosecutor's office. They reviewed it, and they said there's no basis for any action. That's from the Pierre County prosecutor's office. And I never got anything. I have no proof okay. of that at all. Okay. Well, you know what? That's, that's what happened. Huh? Then you should contact them and ask them. That was, that was, that was, that was in August. I was trying every... I went, you know what? They told, here's what happened. When I went to the August 6th, 2018... Mm -hmm. Gary Howell, you know who Gary Howell is? Yeah. Is, you see that video? At Big Boy? Huh? At Big you know, Boy? No, it was at Farmer John's or whatever that okay. restaurant was. Okay. Let's get, what, you know what his job description is? It's not tour guide for the state of Michigan. Okay. But we have no control over I know, you don't have any control yes, over you. you know, listen to me, here's what happened. Are you working working nowhere with this? Oh, you, you're coming, you're ranting and raving. Are you, are you oh, not going to? is trying to tell you, we have no jurisdiction because crime did not, did not you? committed here from those people. We don't have jurisdiction. How can you say that? Because that's the law. I live in Elmont. You had, you had an agent lie to, to uh, DHHS and they cut me off. They won't give me any service. But based on a lie. Huh? already looked at that. When did he look at that? that he looked at that. He, when he looked at my file, that was in that was in July. This happened. This happened in 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 uh, in October. It's he didn't same, look at it. Did same, he look at it again? It's same, when did he, when did he look at it again? He looked same at three it, people that you lodged a complaint with the state police last year. That was, and I'm telling you something. That was in July. I'm talking about October. He hasn't looked at anything in October. That's why I got to get, I, and he's not going to do anything because he's protecting DHHS. They can't, they can't admit to anything. They blew up my, my water heater. They're 100% responsible for it. If I could hire a $5,000 lawyer, I could win the case, but I can't do it. And, and I thought I could, I'm smart enough to be able to figure two plus two. I put together 74 pages of evidence and 30, I got 30, now I got about 40 videos now. I'm not and, small claims court. Huh? You need a lawyer for small claims court. Yeah. The, don't you understand that company is out of business? That, com that company, I never took possession of the contract. Legal claims court is not a business. I'm talking about the company that they hired Porter and Heckman was going out of business because they, they were doing shoddy work when when they installed that water heater. I, I can't get my issues resolved in a court in a legal court of law because I broke the contract I, and I, I put it in, I put it down in, in paper. They didn't deny anything. They just said, oh, according to this, we dismiss everything. They didn't explain anything. They also stole money out of my Social Security account. They won't explain anything of that either. Did you listen to my my call to the Social Security office where the woman told me that I have a case? And that all I have to do is come down to the Social Security office in Port Huron and file a complaint against those people. Did you hear that? Yeah. You think I'm lying about that either? Why don't you, does that, are you telling me that that's legal? All I'm telling you. Is I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm showing you new evidence. The, the federal government takes money out of your Social Security check for Medicare. Why don't you listen to the? Why don't you listen to the, the evidence? I'm telling you that they stole money out of my Social Security account and they did it illegally. And Social Security agreed with me. What, what, why don't you listen to that? What do you think I made that up? Then you have to file a complaint with I you. did with who? Social Security. I had you know, I, and, and you didn't listen to the call. They told me I have to I have to come down to their office. We don't provide transportation services. I didn't ask you to, but under ADA guidelines, Americans with Disability Act, Civil Rights Department, I sent you that guidelines. I, I am entitled to reasonable to transportation for public services. That's why I sent you the information. Yeah, there. you gave me what the the uh, the, the number for that. And you know how much that costs to and from? Let's go. Let's go. We're done. It's getting nowhere. That's why we, we can't we do this. You're not going to take my. You're not going to take my complaint. You have a new complaint to make against against uh, Elaine Stoutenberg. Yeah, where's, the, where, uh, where's the grocery store? Where's the grocery yeah, store? Yeah, where's there a grocery There's store? Right down the road. Yeah. 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 How am I supposed to get there? Okay. I walked. How much is further from your house than the grocery store? And, and I'm disabled, and you don't know what I'm going through physically. I haven't had. I haven't had. I haven't had. I haven't had medical attention since, since 2016, and that's why I didn't. I didn't. I didn't ask for Medicare. Medicare. I told them I didn't want it. They gave it to me anyway. Then they, then they, they took it back. Then they gave it to me four different times and took it back. I never signed for anything. I, I, I so never. Oh, when you turned sixty-five. And, and, don't you understand? They gave it to me as a benefit, and then they took it back for no reason. Then they gave it to me. Then they took it back. And if all you have to do, all you have to do is listen to that recording for Social Security. The Social Security tell me that they broke the law and I have to go down there to file a complaint. And, and, but you won't listen to that. There's nothing we can do. It's not a Tell me who I contact. Who do I who do I complain with? That's, that's illegal. Who do I complain to? Social Security fraud department. What did I just tell you? They told me that I got to go down there. Listen okay. to the recording. How am I supposed to get there? I am. You know what? I'm fighting all these battles in, in on every front, and what you're trying to do is just kill me. You fucking, you fucking
You guys are, you guys are real, watch your mouth. You guys are real protected, right? Watch your mouth.